Hi, my name is Sean Scott. I'm with the town of Marengo, and I'd like to share with you our Marengo Cemetery's uh, web map. And so if you would like to be able to search the map here of the cemetery and find out people that are interned, uh, plots that are reserved, or what's available, you can do so uh, by going to our web map. It's at chronicle.rip. Um, we'll, we'll get a QR code. We'll have some um, hyperlinks that you can go directly to there, but you can get this on any device, whether it be your uh, cell phone, Android, iOS, your tablets, uh, desktop, computer, laptop, anything with an internet connection, and you'll just want to go to chronicle.rip in your browser. So I'm just going to jump to it here, and we'll just see here, chronicle.rip, that's the website you're going to go to. And if you go this direction, then what you'll want to do is go down to the bottom of the screen uh, for go to the, the map. You can, one, you can either search in this top block uh, and just type in Marengo, and it'll take you straight to our cemetery, or you can kind of zoom in, and you'll see as you zoom in to United States, uh, get up here to Indiana, and you'll see that those uh, cemeteries start kind of opening up. So. We're going to go ahead and we're going to type Marengo and it pops up here, Marengo Cemetery. And we're going to go ahead, click onto it, and it's going to zoom in to the cemetery and bring that up for us. So here's an overlay of the cemetery. And what it has is it has uh, the sections one, two, and th or sections two, three, and four. I'm sorry. Uh, section two, the bottom here, three, and four. And section one is over here to the to the east. That is the the original old cemetery um, that is over by the Marengo Cave. We're going to be working on in the future, but right now this is our this is our project. So what you can do is you can zoom into the map, and you can do this by you're using your if you're using your full phone, you can pinch and zoom, um, or if you're using a um, uh, computer, you can just scroll your mouse in uh, or double click and zoom in and out. And so the colors you see here, the difference in the colors, what those are, are the different plots and their classification. So uh, you'll see these first two are yellow and those are uh, reserved. If you hover over them, it'll show you who they are. Um, if you click onto it, It'll also tell you the row number, or the section row number, and the plot number um, to that. Uh, also, if you see the yellow, those are reserved. The blue ones, someone is interned. And then the green ones um, are available spots, uh, plots, I should say. So if you knew that you had a family member in a certain area and you want to see what was available in that area this is kind of a visual representation of what is available into that into the cemetery there so let's go ahead and get back to the Ringo cemetery I kind of jumped out of it there for a second so in the search block at the top after you've typed in Marengo uh, when it comes to the next block here, then you have the capability of being able to search for someone. So uh, if I just wanted to look up, uh, trying to pick a, a name that's not a very common name, um, let's just do Walker. So uh, if I type the last name Walker, uh, what that will do is that will show me all of the internments, uh, lots, and that are plotted Walker. And so here you see that we have uh, two that have been interned, and that's the Billy Joe and Alice Walker. And it has a little, um, some little symbols there that just says there's an official story with those. Uh, we are trying to do those stories as we get, as we get through. So if I was just to click on to Alice Walker, then it will zoom straight to her site uh, and there's her plot and this is kind of a representation of the of the plot and where it's at over here on the left it gives the the official story 
you can click on that and you can kind of read through it's basically uh, the obituary and a photo if we have it um, another thing you can do is you can search by first name so we'll just pick Amos and we'll see if we have any Amos's um, here in the I don't know why I picked Amos but I picked Amos my keyboard's kind of sticking here and we got Amos and we have no results so let's uh, let's just pick a couple other names and okay. see if we have any Noah's uh, don't see any Noah's and but let's go with Delmer so here's a Delmer so you can search by first or last name so again if we just click on to uh, the name and it takes us straight to the plot now from here like I said you can kind of zoom out and you can see what is around um, there as far as what is uh, what is available um, what is already taken and what is reserved if you're using your phone it'll actually you can you can enable your location and it will show you by the location of your phone where you're standing at uh, in relation to the cemetery and at least it'll get you close it may not get you right you, you know it's a, usually the locations are close but uh, it'll get you in that general area and of course if you're looking at the difference of being at the bottom of the hill or the top of the hill um, that might be kind of helpful so another thing that this was this was actually the the reason that we looked at the software is that we wanted to be able to identify uh, all of our veterans into the cemetery and so actually um, working with Chronicle I was able to ask them um, if we can do some sort of a uh, icon uh, or in a filter that would show those because we do have part of uh, of the search capability is being able to put in our return service persons um, so again if I was just to uh, to do a search here we can go into the advanced search um, and here again this is the same Thing. you could kind of go in through there with some data burst but let's just click on return service persons and hit the search button and what this will do is this will let me get back to Marengo because I didn't realize that I got out of Marengo apologize for jumping around here um, but what this is going to do is this is going to give us all of the return service persons now Again, as a reminder, we are working on this. This is not um, this is not a, 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 a for certain because we 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 all the time are missing and trying to get these updated. Some of them um, aren't marked as their veterans, and if we really just don't know the person, uh, that's where we depend on the family to be able to uh, see this and let us know. Hey, um, my uncle, he was uh, he was an army veteran, and, and I didn't see him in here. And we will absolutely do that because the Marengo Post 84 every uh, Memorial Day they go up and they put the flags on and we try to put those uh, on the grave site. So you can see here um, at this point there's a lot more than this. Uh, this is a work in progress that I work on uh, regularly. I've got 19 up here in section 4, uh, 36 in section 3, and 12 uh, so far in section uh, Two, down here at the bottom of the hill um, if you look here they have a little icon now um, and this is what I was able to work with the company and get and so they've got this little icon that looks like a little dog tag and it has a star on it and if you were to click on to it again same thing it'll zoom you into uh, the location and then when you're when you're at that plot you'll see that little dog tag um, a emblem onto the plot and you'll know that that is a return service person so uh, we'll let this load up here real quick and you'll see how that has that that little dog tag emblem and so the reverse or the the advanced um, search really has some great features um, and uh, you can go through and see those different ones so that's a, that's the short of it. Um, we want to thank the Community Foundation of Crawford County for assisting us with the grant that we had received um, that helped us get a lot of 
I get the software. We're going to help the Marengo Post 84 uh, for making a contribution towards uh, the grant and also some of the other local people as well as the town of Marengo. Um, and all those people in the past who helped uh, get a lot of these records down. And if you would like to help us with a couple different things, one, we're doing restoration towards our veterans, our veterans stones first, and then we'll be working forward from there. And then also just putting in this information uh, because it is time consuming to putting in the year of birth and the year of death. And there's some research, but we do have most everything documented as far as uh, birth dates and date of deaths uh, and just making sure they're all in the right place. So again, uh, thank you for taking the time here. Uh, Chronicle.rip uh, is the web address that will get you there. And uh, thank you for your time. If you have any other comments, you can reach out to us uh, here at the town of Marengo. Uh, my cell phone number direct is area code 812-572-8862 if you'd like to uh, find out any more information. Thanks.